Okay, we are going to show you how to uh, register your Active Expression voting device. So here we are, we're in Active Inspire. A couple things you need to begin. You make sure you have your uh, Active Hub. That needs to be plugged into your USB port. And you also need your Active Expression voting devices, uh, depending on how many students you have. One for each student. And a couple of things to highlight on the Active Expression device that you'll need to be aware of is up in the upper left-hand corner, we've got the uh, power on, power off button, and then down further right, down in the bottom right hand corner, we've got the menu button. Those two buttons will be needing. Okay, uh, so to register, you have to make sure that you can see your page browser. I've got mine over here. I'll pin it so that it uh, stays there. If you don't see your page browser, what you can do is just come up to your main menu and come down to view and just make sure that you check the checkbox for browsers and it will appear. All right, now that we are in the page browser, we're going to click on the voting browser. And then you're going to come over here and click on device registration. OK, so in the middle of the device registration window, uh, we see the active expression uh, device. And you, so you click on that, and then you're going to click on register, which will bring you to this screen. A uh, couple things, let me just uh, back up just before because uh, my screen is going to go away. You won't be able to see what I'm actually pushing on, so let's take a look at this. Um, when I click on register, first thing I'll need to do is I'll need to enter the PIN, and uh, the screen will tell you what the PIN number is. The second thing you're going to need to do is to input a username. Okay, and So the usernames are on the back of your active expression devices. Okay, so those are two things that uh, you won't see, uh, but I wanted to show it to you before I went away. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, well, I guess we could just keep staying on the screen. So, of course, we go back here to our uh, active expression. We're going to go to device registration. Click in the middle on the active expression uh, icon. Click register. Okay, right now I'm just going to register two. Uh, so you can type in either type in or just use the arrow key to up to the number that you'd like. I'm going to do two depending on how many you want. If you're going to do your whole class, you might have up to 22. And I'm going to check the checkbox that says allow expression and name user uh, and user naming. I'm going to change that to numeric and you could key that down to two or three. I'm just going to leave it at 14. If you are doing if you're having your students, enter the numeric number, then you might want to actually set that uh, to two or three. Um, so I'm going to click Next. Okay, now I need to power on my devices, which is what I'm doing that you cannot see. They're both now powered on. So, so power on your active expression device is what we just did. Uh, now I'm pressing on the menu button, which I highlighted earlier, bottom right hand corner of the device. Then I click on the register on the screen. And then I'm going to enter the pin. In this case, it's CFC. Uh, that will change each time. It's never the same. And then I'm going to input the uh, number, which in this case, this one is number 26. And I'm going to click Send. You'll notice it pops up right up there. I'm going to do the same thing with my other device. Menu, Register, CFC. Uh, in this case, this one is number 27. And Send and that one should come up. Okay, so now you can see I've got two active expression devices registered and now I can click done. All right, and so those are the things that I pressed on that you couldn't see. Uh, the CFC, you just had to press on this button here for C, this button here for F, and this button here for C, and then after I did that, abort turned to send and I could press this button to send it and then I entered 26 and then I pressed on that button there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to send. Alright, so that is how you register your active expression devices.